What is good with y'all, man? It's your boy Toad. Welcome back to another vid, you guys. <sighs> Hope everybody been doing well, man. Drop a comment. I don't know about you guys, man, but I look around, bro, and it's just really unfortunate to see not a lot of people that happy. I mean, you do see, you do still see smiles here and there and people cracking jokes. You know what I'm saying? But for the majority of of the time bro i would say that a lot of people just are so caught up in their own world and worrying about what they gotta do and i'm no different bro you feel me like i gotta worry about myself as well and you guys gotta take care of yourselves i just think that's crazy because yeah like the cost of living has just really affected all of us bro to the point where it just seems like nowadays we gotta take a loan out just to piss but yeah this really raised the question of are tattoos gonna even become affordable hey just want to let everyone know your boy still got some of these digital art prints if y'all consider picking one up to support the channel i'd really appreciate it i definitely think that these would make good gifts home decor room decor you know what i'm saying bro that like this will look good anywhere in general so yeah if you consider picking one up and supporting the channel again i really appreciate it i mean really bro like, it's just crazy how expensive everything is getting. And I know that inflation affects everybody differently. Obviously, inflation isn't going to affect a boomer as much as it's going to affect a Gen Zer. It's just coming to the point now where we're having less disposable income. Like, I don't know about you guys, but definitely in the past few years, like, I'm going to admit, bro, like, I, there's times when I really had to just back out on getting my hair cut and... I had to chill out on going out and getting drinks or doing this and that. We're running into tough times. So I'm sure that a lot of you guys, if you haven't already, like I know a lot of people that have cut down on the amount of time they've been getting tattooed. You feel me? Like some people have just been kind of putting their projects, like their sleeve projects a little bit on a standby. And um, man, it's just really hard on all of us out here, bro. Like we're all feeling it, man. Like, we are all feeling it. Let me know in the comments if you guys have had tattoo projects that you had to put on a standby in these past few years. But, yeah, it took me a little bit to, like, get my neck done, bro. Because, you know, I, I had to prioritize other things. And, again, man, it's just, like, going to be really interesting to see what happens in this next two years. Because nowadays, like, walk-ins are basically non-existent anymore. It's crazy how I basically have witnessed the death of walk-ins within my journey it's like dude i used to remember before 2020 like back in 2016 2017 2018 like there used to be walk-ins every single day bro like on the weekly i said this in another vid but it was like it didn't even matter if you was gonna come in on a monday dude if you was an artist you was gonna come in on a monday you had nothing lined up you just knew you was getting paid dude you knew you were getting paid like you knew something was gonna come in and you had something to do. But that's the thing is I truly believe nowadays there's just not enough work going around. It goes back to that whole thing where people, I know some people, bro, they're going to be like, oh, well, it's the artist's fault and it's this and that. Well, it's like, dude, like I know a lot of genuinely good artists that are also great people, but it's just because that they don't have 20k followers on ig they don't got 40k followers on ig they're not like as busy as those people and that's what you all understand man like tattooing in a way has also just become this popularity like social media clout thing where you can be an amazing artist but like you're just an amazing artist and you know like you're just really locally known but the fact that you have a thousand followers people aren't just like, you know, you're not going to be as busy as the mediocre artist who has 60K followers. You know what I mean? Like, that's less experienced, actually. Like, that's just how social media works, man. And, you know, like, bro, I ain't going to be out here trying to sound old being like, oh, dude, like, blah, blah, blah. Like, I totally believe that, hey, man, I didn't write the rules to this game. You just got to adapt and play with it. You feel me? So, like, you know, if you out here complaining about that, like... Hey, man, there's nothing we can do. The best we can do is just play the game. You know what I mean? But it's a harsh reality, though, man. It is such a it is a harsh reality to think about that. Yeah, like 
you can be a 20 year veteran an amazing artist but just the fact that nowadays if you don't have as much of a social media online appearance as this young dude who picked up an amazon tattoo machine and just and you know maybe they're good looking or whatever and they just got this crazy following out of nowhere it's just yeah it's disheartening to think about right like think about that if you were like a 20 year old veteran and you just put blood sweat and tears into a craft and and you just see these young jerk offs just without any skills just mediocre skills just being busy like bro it's gonna make you feel some way anyways i'm really curious what y'all think about the future of tattooing and where it's gonna be heading let me know in the comments let's have a discussion below don't forget to like and subscribe i'll see y'all next vid